In this example, we want to find the area between the loops of the curve r equals 2 times the quantity 1 plus 2 sine theta. We need to figure out a strategy for how we're going to solve this problem. We want the area in between the loops. At first, this might seem simple enough, and we should just integrate going around the entire object. However, remember that when we calculate area using polar coordinates, the region is swept out from the origin to the curve. If we just integrate around the whole thing, we'll have too much area. So we need to come up with a better plan. We need to calculate the area enclosed by the outer loop and then subtract the area enclosed by the inner loop. This would give us the area that we're looking for, what's in between. In order to do this, we need to determine the angles where the outer loop starts and stops and the inner loop starts and stops. These points all occur where the graph crosses the origin or pole. Those are the places when r equals 0. So if r equals 2 times the quantity 1 plus 2 sine theta and we set that equal to 0, that will happen when 1 plus 2 sine theta equals 0 or sine theta equals negative one-half. Those values of theta are 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6 is here and 11 pi over 6 is here. However, this is not what's going to cause the start of the outer loop. Remember that theta equals zero is on the x-axis. This is where we typically start. However, for this outer loop, we need to back up a bit and begin a little earlier than zero. It wouldn't make sense for that to be 11 pi over six because that's much further along in the curve. What we need to do is back up and look at this angle as negative pi over six. So the outer loop occurs from negative pi over 6 to 7 pi over 6. And then the inner loop occurs as we go from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6 when it exits the inner loop. Note that this is the graph of r equals 2 times 1 plus 2 sine theta in an r theta plane. So what you see here is the graph starting at negative pi over 6. That's where it crosses the r equals 0 line. And then it comes up and back down and it crosses again at 7 pi over 6. That's the same section that creates the outer loop. From 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6, r is negative. This is the section that creates the inner loop and then this is the little bit that takes it back to the beginning. The maximum occurs here at pi over two, right between these two values, and the minimum here occurs at three pi over two between these two values. This is the top of the inner loop. This is the top of the outer loop. So if we start at negative pi over six and calculate the area going around until we reach 7 pi over 6. That'll give us the area of the outer loop. But now, if we want the inner loop, we begin at 7 pi over 6 and circle around here. Note that this is where r is negative. That's what creates the inner loop. And then once we reach 11 pi over 6, it finishes the inner loop. So we're going to find the area of the outer loop from negative pi over 6 going around all the way until we reach the angle 7 pi over 6. But we will then have to subtract the section where we go from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6. Note that we have to do this as two separate integrals even though it's one curve. 
and that's because the value for R goes from positive to negative when these different regions. So for our plan, to solve this, we need to set up two parts. Our area is going to be the area of the outer loop minus the area of the inner loop. So we will use our area formula twice. For the outer loop, it is one half the integral from negative pi over six to seven pi over six of the quantity, two times the quantity, one plus two sine theta, the whole thing squared, d theta. Then we will subtract one half times the integral from seven pi over six to 11 pi over six of the same integrand, the quantity two times the quantity one plus two sine theta, that whole thing squared, d theta. So the outer loop is this first integral here, and the inner loop is the second integral here. This would be the setup for the problem. We could take it a little further by squaring things out, and we would have two from the two squared and the one half, negative pi over six to seven pi over six of one plus four sine theta plus four sine squared theta d theta minus two times the integral from seven pi over six to 11 pi over six of the same thing. One plus four sine theta plus four sine squared theta d theta. Don't forget your basic algebra. The quantity a plus b squared is a squared plus two ab plus b squared. Very often I see students make the common mistake in these problems of writing it as a squared plus b squared. Don't make that mistake. It's sloppy and easy to do. With a little more work, this integral together works out to be 12 root three plus four pi. And that gives us the area we're looking for in between the two loops. Note that we could have also done this calculation by doing only half of this region and then multiplying by two. If we were working the integral all the way out, that would probably be easier because the angle on the top here would be pi over two. The angle at the top of this loop is three pi over two. And those would be easier to substitute in after doing the integration than the other values. <laughs>